Hi, future managers. Welcome to another week of Principles of Management. Just a reminder, this Sunday, Milestone 1 is due and Writing Log 1 is due. I suggest, if you haven't already, to be in contact with your group. It is important that you create the group charter and everyone agrees to it. This is the foundation to understand how work will be done, who's doing what, and to share ideas in your autobiography and to understand each other and get to know each other in this team, team building process. It's a long semester, a marathon, and not a sprint. So it's important to build that foundation today and go for, to go forward. Other key points, make sure that everyone is participating in creation of that group charter and throughout the project. If someone is not, there are two things that I need for you to do. One, to email them extending an olive branch saying that you want to work with them and the group has been has been concerned that they're not contributing to the expectations that they have agreed to within the group charter. Copy Jessica and I on that email and we will follow up. You must do that, meaning email the individual who's not participating to the full extent, copy Jessica and I on that so we can follow up so we have documentation to be able to move forward. Pointing fingers, sending secret emails, this is not what helps and does not create a transparent working environment for a group. So again, I need you to reach out to that individual, sending them an email, expressing your concern that you want to include them in the group project, but you haven't heard from them and or they're not meeting the expectations. Copy everyone on the group and copy Jessica and I and we will follow up. Generally, this works and helps facilitate a positive group environment because the group charter is very important and will dictate later on how work is being done in the group. If someone is not participating, make sure you Document that in your milestones. It has to clearly state who contributed and who did not. This type of documentation helps Jessica and I when we're doing the evaluating. It's not fair for people to freeload or to be, get credit for work that they didn't do. So therefore, I'm asking you to help us help you. I strongly agree, uh, suggest that you continuously work ahead. Remember that milestone due will be due in two weeks and milestone uh, writing log number two will be due next week, but again, always be thinking ahead. Uh, pick one of the solutions or one of the concepts that you created out of the group and use that as the foundation going forward for milestone two, milestone three, the mi midterm presentations. So just to recap, milestone one is two parts. The concept idea that each one of you in your group is expected to create with the storyboards the autobiographies, and finally the group charter. All of that needs to be submitted in one document by one person from the group. So if there's five people in the group, you need five concepts and five different storyboards. That helps you communicate to each other and transmit a complex idea for a story to others. And then you select one going forward to create. So that's how it works. It makes sure that everyone works individually and we're not just going to the work that one person did, but everyone does it. If someone doesn't create a concept, then they're not going to get credit, but make sure you document who did the concept, who contributed to Milestone 1, and who didn't. Again, this is a marathon class and not a sprint, and I look forward to the work that you're going to submit and to review those, because I know out of the more, more than 600 students who have taken this class, you can see and be impressed by the work that, that you will be making going forward. So again, Thank you, and Jessica and I are on this journey with you.